And um, but yeah, like nine eleven truthers. Like let me let me first say this. Okay, I used to be a nine eleven truther. I said this in my um, I said I don't know if you used to believe in the whole conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, for like two weeks. But like um. If you believe that, the, you know, if you believe that, you know, the government did it, that's fine. Okay, that's your belief you're allowed to believe. I mean, my friend, Prince of Moose, I, I, you remember that video that Prince of Moose did? No, I don't remember any of Prince of Moose's older videos. Well, he was very vocal about it, and, um, I mean, he wasn't being a dick about it. He was just showing, you know, saying his two cents on the whole 9-11 thing. He believes that there is a conspiracy, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It, it. You start to cross the line when you start forcing it on people. When you start telling people that they're idiots and they're... You, and they're you're fans. no different from the freaking PS3 fanboys who try to force that the PS3 is the most the best system ever, blah, blah, blah. Or, like, if you do your own research... You, you know what's funny? You do... People... You do your own research. You look after trusted sources. None of this quote mining straw man bullshit. You look after trusted sources. You do your own research... You come up with a conclusion that the 9-11 truthers, ironically, aren't telling the truth. And what do they do? They say, oh, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. You're not thinking for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, didn't one of those loose change guys did not read the freaking commission report? No, I don't think any of them did. Oh, jeez. Like, I don't think any of them did. No, you're, 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 mm. Sorry. You have to remember, loose change started out as a college project. Then 9-11 happened. They go, hey, sh shit, this could work. What was the college project? It was a film project. They wanted to make a video based on a fake conspiracy, but then 9-11 happened, and they decided to turn it into a real conspiracy. That's pretty much how Loose Change came to be. And and um, and just, just the minor po uh I'm going to be going in a lot more detail once I finally get done with the fucking you know, Loose Change commentary thing, but I just want to say this. You know how, like, the Loose Change guys and Alex Jones, they're, like, saying this video is the truth. And it shows, and it shows exactly what happened on 9-11. If that was true, don't you think they'd be floating down the Hudson River by now? Yeah. I, I, I totally agree with that. <laughs> and not only that, and not only that, you know, Loose Change, it haunts it. Let me, let me see. Loose Change, the, at least the first edition, has been up. Since oh, like, I'm checking on Google Video because it's been on there for fucking years and and it has been taken down, but which is ironic, you know. All right, loose change. The second edition was three years ago. The let's see. The second edition was released three years ago. At least that's what it says here on a uh, on a uh, Google Video. But let's just say it's been on uh, it's been on there for years, okay? Okay. Now, if this documentary, or I use that term loosely, if this documentary was true in any way, you wouldn't be able to fucking see it everywhere. That 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 is true. Also, the thing with conspiracy theories is that in order for them to work, you have to have a lot of people on board. Um, you know, my friend the made this the uh, made this little assumption with the moon landing. You know, okay, the president, a lot of scientists at NASA, they were all in on it. Would you think that one of them would have snapped by now if that yeah, was yeah? And that's that's the thing. That's the thing that I have with um, nine eleven. They, could, they like couldn't a lot even of they couldn't even cover up um Watergate. And that's a declassified document now. Yeah. From what I understand. And, like, um, you know we're going to get a lot of fucking hate comments. Right? <laughs> don't give a shit. They're retarded. But, like, um, as I said before, if you believe there is a conspiracy, it's fine. You, you have every right to say so. But when you cross the line, when you start saying people who – when you start – Calling people who don't believe in it fucking government shills. It could be By the way, if you post a comment like that, you will fucking prove our point about that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you do realize that. And there is no debating with 9-11 truthers. Like, if you see a video, you know, by a 9-11 truther, and you comment, and you say, I, I disagree with this, and you have a shit to back up your comment, they'll go, no, you lie, and they'll block you. <laughs> that is a debate with these guys. That is pretty much the debate with these people. 
Or if you... Yeah, free speech, right? One plus and, one does equal two! Oh, you're a government shill! Like, free speech, right? <laughs> yeah. And, uh... And, and that's just... That's the beautiful irony of this. How they're like, oh, our rights are being taken away. Our free speech is being taken away. No, you're taking it away from us. Yeah. You're, you're the only one so far that are taking the, your precious, precious free speech away. Because when people comment on your videos... And not only do you ridicule them, not only do you say that they're wrong and they're stupid and they're drinking the Kool-Aid, but you're also blocking them and removing their comments. And I thought you guys were all about free speech. I thought you guys were all about basic rights. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. And, uh, oh, what else? Oh, like, you know how they say, oh, our rights are being taken away, blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Alex Jones has been on YouTube for two years now. By the way, his his little his little rant about getting rid of the Super Bowl. I saw that. That that was the stupidest fucking movie I've ever seen. Yeah, considering that this was the New Orleans' first fucking time at the fucking Super Bowl, and you want to make a rant saying we should get rid of it? And keep in mind, we actually won that thing. So yeah, New Orleans was very happy. No, the, scratch that. Most of Louisiana was really happy when we won the Super Bowl. Like, my college campus, like, went on fire because of how how we actually kicked the Colts' ass. And but, yeah, just, uh, no, no offense to anybody from Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it, like you, you see the video. The, the, it says, cancel the Super Bowl or America dies. Even the fucking Super Bowl is a conspiracy to this ass hat. God, what's he going to say next? Uh... Cancel so, the World Series, or we're all going to die. <laughs> Get rid of your PS3s, Xbox 360s, or Wii's, and the government and the computer chips in your brains will die. Also, I want to show this. Um, I, I downloaded a video of shit from his website. Mm -hmm. Also, let me see if I can find it. Downloaded vids. I think it's this one. But, like, it shows a video. Uh-huh. And, like, and like in Loose Chains, they say that, you know, Flight 93 didn't exist, and fucking... And, and like, let's see. And they harass firefighters, saying that they're, they're being paid off. Oh, by the way, I saw that firefighter documentary that my American history teacher showed me. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that one. They were supposed—it was supposed to be a regular New York documentary about the life of a firefighter there, which turned into a, a 9/11 documentary because they were filming one morning. One dude was like pointing the camera right up at the planes, like, "Ooh, that's moving pretty." Holy shit! And then, of course, uh, you actually get like a very horrifying perspective of what happened there. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, and then, and then my fr dude, I actually have a friend who believes in the 9/11 conspiracy theories, and no offense to my friend, but he really, he really should double check his information. He's not a dick like the guys you mentioned. Oh, that I understand. Okay. But like, here's the thing: like, protesting on the on Ground Zero is probably one of the most disrespectful things you can do. Oh yeah. It's a it's a fucking gravesite, practically. Yeah. And you're, and you're protesting on people's graves. You know, that's as low as protesting at soldiers' funerals. Yeah, I was just I, about I, to say that, actually. Yeah, I heard about that, where because, because apparently the war, according to some of these mind, uh, these uh, brain-dead fuck nuggets, that the Iraqi war happened because we're accepting gays in this country. Or something right. along the lines of that. that was stupid. And protesting at a funeral, fuck you. And let's see. Alright. Uh, wrong video. <laughs> I'm still looking for it. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I can't keep these people distracted for long. And I don't know how long this video is. Oh, it's going... It's probably going to be a few parts long. But, like... I think it's somewhere around here. Like... Uh, don't worry, we'll edit this out. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit! I found it. I found oh, it. Oh, okay. Never mind. We got something. It says, "People die." Update: People died in World Trade Center Seven. You know the one that wasn't hit by a plane but fell down. Um. You know the one that they say fell into its own perfect footprint, even though everything around it was fucked up beyond repair. Oh. Uh, yeah. This well, this makes Larry Silverstein and the and the fire department guilty of at least manslaughter. Um, fuck you very much, dude. Wow! 